is forty dollars. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be reviewing the March Boxy Lux Boxy Charm, and it is also going to be my last Boxy Charm box that I do. I'll get more in depth with that in the video. But before we get started, just make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have so much fun here. You don't want to miss any of my awesome videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So, Boxy Charm is a subscription box for makeup, beauty products, etc. <laughs> um, it is twenty-one dollars a month. Usually, starting December of twenty eighteen, they did a Boxy Lux, which made it. I think it was like forty-nine ninety-nine. Wanted up being like fifty dollars. So I went ahead and I signed up for that and I got a Boxy Lux in December and I really enjoyed it and then I got this one in March and I've been getting Boxy Charm for quite a while. Um, I stopped for a little bit and then I started again and I, we'll go right into why before we even get into this, um, why I am not going to be continuing with Boxy Charms. One, when I started Boxy Charm years ago, when I started um, subscribing to them, um, you didn't have where people got all of the sneak peeks or all of like the what's going to be in the box and kind of put it all over YouTube, put it all over Instagram. So now it's no longer like a surprise as to what you're going to get. You already know like what you're getting in the box and it kind of takes the fun out of it. Like I know that sounds petty, but it, it really does take the fun out of it. And then like all of the YouTube influencers for the most part like the bigger ones who still are on the PR box I don't know a lot like really big ones that are by the way my hair is a mess don't mind it it is what it is eee. so not really the super big ones like Jeffree Star Laura Lee and all them I mean I'm sure they get it but they don't really review it they get their boxes like super fast so by the time I get mine I think I got mine yesterday which would make it like the 13th and some people already there's hundreds of videos up already so I don't feel like I'm really doing you guys a service by reviewing something that you've probably already seen because I got my box a little bit late also I've heard some rumors I don't know if they're true that they've been putting like expired stuff stuff the stores won't sell in the box I think it is a really good choice option for someone who's just starting out with makeup and they want to kind of just like get a bunch of different stuff but they don't want to pay that, you know, price tag. However, I think if you have a good significant amount of makeup, I just don't think it's worth $21 unless you're trying to build and you just don't have the finances to go out and buy a ton of different palettes and stuff like that. I think it is a decent idea, but they just kind of took all the fun out of it and then all the rumors and stuff. I just wasn't, I wasn't about it. So I decided that I am no longer going to subscribe. And also, Stephen and I, Stephen, my husband, do plan to buy a house within the next year, year and a half. So we're starting to save and I'm kind of cutting out like what I don't need and what I do need. So I have a specific budget for YouTube, what I can invest in my you know job, in you guys, in what I review. And I just really think that that $21 could go to like new products coming out, super fun stuff to do and stuff like that. So I'm just nixing it. Um, Boxy Charm, it's been great, but you got to go. So the theme is La Vienne Rose Boxy Lux. So if you are new, this is the card that you get that tells you all the products and the names and the prices and all the good stuff that you need to know. I will tell you, I have opened this box. I have played with the stuff in here. I'm actually wearing a whole lot of it on my face. So I want to go in depth as to how I feel about it instead of just opening it up and swatching it for you. I really wanted to go into depth. So let's start with the BoxyCharm train case, which retails for $20. Also, if you had BoxyCharm and you decided to stop subscribing, go ahead and leave me a comment as to why, so I can know why you stopped, or if you still do, and why maybe you're thinking about stopping. Just, you know, share with me. Let me know, let me know. I need to know, I'm not alone. So this is really cute. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Mmm. It, um, it smells like fish. So you have, it says boxy charm, and it's pretty large, and it is like a iridescent, holographic, rose gold. We're done with that. It stinks so bad. I'm so sorry. 
I just don't, ugh, it stinks. If you got yours this month, please comment below and let me know if your bag stunk so I'm not alone. So on my eyes today, I did use the Morphe 15N Nightmaster Eyeshadow Palette. I thought this was super freaking cool that they put this in the box. However, when I open this, and I try not to peek and watch the YouTube videos that tell me what I'm gonna get, because it really, like I said, it just takes the fun out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this card so it blocks you guys and not get blinded by my lights. So, mm, okay, let's take a second. This is, it's like every warm brown palette they've come out with. Like, you have a plum and two purples and a copper. It's just so plain Jane, and I just wish that they would have picked a more fun, more, like, awesome palette to kind of play with and use. I just feel like you can't really get creative with this kind of thing. So if you're really into nudes and you don't have a lot of nudes, which I highly doubt most people have a ton of nudes, then this palette is going to be for you. And this palette retails for $16. And I will point out the colors that I did use. I used Unique, Selfie, Goals, and Custom, which I just did to like set it. Again, they're just your normal Morphe shadows. They blended out very well. It was very pigmented. The shimmers applied okay. I did use the Morphe eyeshadow primer, which I am obsessed with, um, but I just wasn't the biggest fan of the color scheme. I wish that I would have gotten a different one just because... Let me pause because I'm not looking at it from your guys' point of view. I'm looking at it from mine who has a ton of makeup, 50 plus palettes. For someone who does not have a lot of makeup, this would probably be really awesome because it does have a lot of neutral nude colors and browns that you can use as transitions if you only have a few palettes. However, a lot of people nowadays, because makeup and the beauty community, community has become so big, makeup is like an abundance of things. So you guys probably have probably three to four palettes, which doesn't seem like a lot, but think about three, four years ago, that would have been a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I think that if you only have like one or two palettes, this might be okay, but it's gonna be a lot of neutrals and you're gonna have to dig into different palettes if you wanna get creative. So the next thing I have on is the Becca Sorbet and this is the Ultimate Lipstick Love and this is a satin lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and do my beauty hand so you can see it. And I do have it on my lips. It's very comfortable. It's very pretty. I love the packaging, just the sleek gold packaging. It just says Becca. And then, ooh. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, so here is the color. It is so pretty. I do love it a lot. And it, like I said, it is on my lips today. It's very moisturizing, it's very creamy, it went on very well, it was pigmented, so no complaints on that end. And this was, handy dandy price postcard, this was $24, so, and watch this though. Ah, that's so cool, I just think that's super cool. But it was $24, so it's a little bit of a high price tag for a lipstick. Moving on. So the next thing we got, which I thought was super awesome, this is the Perfector Face Palette. Another thing that is that bothers me that I don't want to do BoxyCharm anymore is I'm get I'm really getting tired of getting makeup items that belong in a unicarton by themselves. Mascara, this, um, there was something last time, last month that I got, and I'm just not a fan of that. I don't think it's very sanitary because anyone could open this and touch it, and I'm just, it's not, I don't think it's ideal. All right, so here is the palette, and you get a brightener, two highlighters, a blush, a contour, and a finishing powder. However, the finishing powder is kind of pink. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not translucent. It's not my skin tone, and it has glitter in it. So I'm not really certain what they were trying to do with that because when I think finishing powder, I think setting powder. And then you have two highlighters, which really were not very blinding. Um, they had a lot of it, a lot of kickback. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and I'm just gonna dig into this highlighter and I have it on there. And then we'll go ahead and just do, do, do. I'm looking in the mirror here. But do you see what I mean? Like there's nothing really picked up on that. So if you see there, you can't really see it all that well. And I'll go into that more pink one. So they just didn't 
like go on my skin very well you can kind of see them when I do the finger swatch but when I did the brush it just didn't really I don't know it just didn't really look right at all and just so you guys know if it looks different it's because I did have to switch the lighting around it was a little bit bright and you really couldn't see the palette the way that I would want you to however this one right here the brightener is super blinding look at that and that's what I have on my upper cheeks today so the blush was okay and the contour was okay it just was kind of powdery and came out like a lot but I think it was pretty nice um, I just not a fan of the two highlighters at all they were not they're very 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 subtle when you use a brush so if you kind of like that then I mean that's your thing so the cover FX was $45, which is almost the price of the box itself. So the next thing we'll go into is the Moda Powder and Soft Glow. So one is a powder for translucent powder onto the face to create a fall, fall, uh, flawless finish. <laughs> and then, does anybody else get tongue tied when they say crazy words? And then the next one is Soft Glow, and it's, I guess, supposed to sweep a luminous glow onto the high planes of the, it's a highlighter brush. So this is $29.99. No, no. Do you guys have these brushes? What do you think about them if you have them? Because I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a fan. I think they're very cute. They have like that rose gold, really cute theme. I think everything's rose. Oh, because uh, that's the theme of the month, Jamie, dumbass. So this one I really did like for my setting powder. However, it's just really, really big. So getting it like in that, like in here is gonna be really hard. I like to use the Morphe 510 because it's very small and precise. This floppy, hot mess of a tool. I'm not really sure. It's very soft, but like if you look here, what? Who's putting highlighter on with this big thing? It's like a fan brush closed together. Maybe if I put like a hair tie or rubber band, I could kind of use it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not a fan of that one. So I did like the powder brush if it was just a sm smaller, but Mm, I'm not a fan. So then we will go into the next thing, which is the Lily Lashes. And let me tell you how excited I am. So this is the Faux Mink Limited Edition Lashes. And it is in the shade Gaia. G-A-I-A. -A. Gaia, 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 I'm not sure. All right, so this is $24.99. I've heard a lot of good things about Lily Lashes. They look very fluffy, very soft. I do not have lashes on today, and I didn't on my last video. If you've noticed, let me know, because I'm testing out a mascara that another big YouTuber told not me they didn't tell me personally because we're not friends but they said on their video that basically you can wear this and you don't need lashes i don't believe them so i'm trying it for a couple of days to see how i like it so they're very soft and they have a very thin band and they have that separation in the lashes that i really 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 love so this is definitely a plus and i am super excited to try them who loves lashes i love lashes I love a good lash like you can't have a good look really without a good lash so and the next thing a lot of people are really excited about and I think it's okay it is the it confidence in a cream transforming moisturizer super cream now that's gonna be hard to see oh no that won't because it's silver but it says it's for all skin types, which I really don't like the idea of companies coming out for things for all skin types, just because, well, we're all different. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, so it comes in this, and it is pretty heavy duty, and this was a whopping $48, so it's basically the price. It's basically, you know what, I'm not even going to do it. You know what it looks like. <laughs> um, it's basically the price of the box, so I thought that was exciting. It's pretty heavy, like I said. Oh, it's because it's glass. Duh, Jamie. God. Something is seriously wrong with me today. 
So it smells really nice. It kind of has like a citrusy smell. It reminds me of the Belief Moisture Balm Cream, which I really like. I did use this under my makeup today, and I'm not gonna lie to you, my Beauty Blender foundation is already amazing, so I don't really know if it's like that, or this, or the new primer I'm using. I don't really know, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm here for it. My skin looks like really hydrated and really nice. So this is a plus for me, and it was almost $50, so it literally pays for the whole box, and pays for this hot mess. So the next thing that I had no idea that they actually sell this brand at Sephora until today, I was on Sephora shopping, per the usual, and <laughs> I saw this pop up. So I mean, I'm a big nail polish collector, but I will probably keep this for a giveaway just because I am starting to get my nails done and I actually am very snooty when it comes to my nail polish. I know, but I'm very particular and I have OCD with my nail polish, so I like them to all be the same. And here's why. This is Deborah Lipman. Why I won't put these with my nail polishes. Look how little this is. D no, I don't like mini things. It just doesn't look aesthetic. It's not pleasing to the eye. I just, I don't know why. But this is Odana and Modern Love, and I believe this retails for $20. So I will put this in a future giveaway for you guys because I would rather give it to you than throw it away. And two more things. So I'm really excited to try this. This is the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Um, I'm really kind of just excited because I saw that it's pretty and shimmery and that really got me excited. I know that sounds like really silly, but who else doesn't get excited about like shimmery, glittery, beautiful things? Come on. We're all into beauty here, of course we do. So it is like a highlighted rose gold moment. Ooh, I'm gonna use that tonight, guys, and I will come back and let you know. It's very sticky, very tacky, but it's a peel-off mask, so basically what you'll do is you'll put it on, and it kind of has like a perfume, hold on. It has like a perfume smell to it, so it's not too strong, but it definitely has like a scent to it. And um, again, still sick. I don't know what's happening. This is like almost a week now I've been sick, so just bear with me. I know that I sound like a grandpa or a frog or whatever else so you wanna make fun of me, but I'm trying to get better. <laughs> so I can kind of smell. <laughs> It smells okay. It doesn't smell too terrifying. Um, it's very pretty. I would literally set this on my desk just because I think it's like super pretty. Um, but I will let you guys know uh, if I like it or not. You basically you put it on, you let it sit, and then you peel it off. Hopefully it doesn't hurt like that black one. I tried that black one. I think it came from like Amazon and it was like Korean or something and it was the black charcoal one. Oh my god. It hurts so bad. I would sit there and be like... You guys are just being like over dramatic and because sometimes I can be like really judgmental. Mm, sorry. Um, we all have flaws, okay? We all have flaws. But um, I actually tried it for myself and I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have judged them because that sh hurt. So the last thing, and I held this for last because this is the biggest piece of sh that is in this box. This is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. Come on. So it's a eyebrow cushion. Directions to sculpt. Use the bristle wand to brush your eyebrows into place. The spoolie. Bounce the angled brush and into the cushion. With the small strokes, apply the pigment to create your desired effect. The quick drying formulation allows you to reapply and build up for intensity. It contains vitamin E, renowned to stimulate hair growth and keeps the compact closed. Oh, keep the compact closed. You're an idiot. All right, so here's the problem. I think it's really pretty. It's a gold moment. It is $40? Beauty industry, like, is playing games. I would not pay this. You hear this? It's so lightweight. I would not. Did you see that too? <laughs> Shameful. I would not pay $40 for this. Absolutely not. ABH is way cheaper, way better product. Oh, you're out of your mind. I can't get it open now because my nails. Um, no. Hell no. So you get the mirror in here and it's frosted because it has that sticky. And then you get this whopping, apparently $40 worth bendable spoolie that no one can use because we have normal sized hands and not baby hands. Look at that. 
you gotta be like me 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 okay not the worst part so you get this guy and it looks almost like the ABH dual powder but it is liquid it's liquid it's on a cushion like the cushion foundation from L'Oreal whomever and you're supposed to dab this in here first of all it soaks the brush there is no like light dabbing and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stroke this on here so you can see this I don't know if you can tell how light that is how patchy it is and when I was trying I actually used it for my brows I did more of a natural brow look today it when I would try to like wipe over here and this was before I put foundation on it wasn't applying like it would go on and in certain places it's like it wasn't taking to my skin or something I don't know but I kept going over and over and over I let it dry like it said so I could build intensity like it said and it just did not work out and I wound up having to go with my AVH dual powder to fix it now not the worst problem let me wipe off this brush the other problem is I went to do like my little flick flick in the front with the lighter brown cool cool right you dip it in there and you put it here literally almost the same color it's not that light it's not that light at all look do you see what I mean here how it's patchy it's patchy but it's almost like green it has like a green tint to it it's very very strange it's just a very I think it's a very gimmicky product and I'm just not here for it and I think that you have better things you can spend your money on than $40 on this freaking thing I don't know this I don't know if you have it and you've used it and you love it then let me know let me know what I'm doing wrong I mean luckily that came with the box it was $50 for the whole box but come on I don't know <laughs> I'm going crazy all right guys so that is it for all of my boxy charm boxy luxe I'm not gonna lie to you for the most part I definitely liked everything I got the definite not interested items are gonna be these guys and then half of this guy and then everything else I think is pretty awesome and a pretty good, you know, amount for what I paid. Um, and I don't mind this nail polish. It looks really, really pretty. Uh, I just don't like the size of it. So I will be putting it in for a future giveaway for my lovely followers. Family. Can we call each other family? I'm going to call you guys family because I don't like followers or like subscribers. No, we're going to call you family. Family, friends, you know, whatever you want to be called. So that is it for today's video, guys. And again, I will not be doing any more BoxyCharm videos. But most people, you could see it all over the place. Why not get some new stuff out there, get some awesome reviews so you guys can buy some awesome makeup but know what you're getting instead of this stuff because the bottom line is if you're subscribed, whether I review this and I hate it or I like it, too bad you're already subscribed so I don't really feel like my review helps when it comes to BoxyCharm let me know below let me know if I'm crazy but that is it guys I'm out of here I'll see you next time bye